1994 Shadow movie may have been a flop thanks to a few movies being released at the same time, including The Lion King, True Lies, Speed, and Forrest Gump, just to name a few. The merchandise for The Shadow was there. It included a 100 set of trading cards by Topps, comic books by Dark Horse, a Burger King watch, puzzles, and a board game by Milton Bradley, and the main event, a toy line by Kenner. The toy line included eight basic figures, one deluxe figure, and four vehicles. The figures are Lightning Draw Shadow, Ambush Shadow, Transforming Lamont Cranston, Ninja Shadow, Dr. Makino, Mongol Warrior, Shi Wang Khan, and Battle Shi Wang Khan. The deluxe figure is Bulletproof Shadow with lights and sounds. The vehicles are Shi Wang Khan Serpent Bike, the Night Mist Cycle, the Mirage SX100, and a Thunder Cab. The Lightning Draw Shadow could be considered the basic version of the Shadow. Most of the Shadow figures come with his twin silver Heat 45s, with an exception of Ambush Shadow and Ninja Shadow. Ambush Shadow has only one gun. Ninja Shadow doesn't have any firearms. Most of the shadows also have light piped eyes with the exception of Ambush Shadow again. And the deluxe bulletproof shadow that has actual light up eyes. When it comes to the villains, they're all over the place. Let's start with Dr. Makino. He's not in the movie, but he is in the other stories. He's known as the Voodoo Master. He comes with a shadow voodoo doll, attacking claw staff, and a mace made from a shrunken head. I love that his right arm has Santino's Cobra! Cobra! The rest of the villains are related. There's two Shiwan Khans and the Mongol warrior. They all have real hair. The basic Shiwan Khan comes with the furba. At least, I think. Oh, yep, that's the Furba. Looks nothing like the or a Furba, but it does come to life. As with most Kenner toys of the time, these have mechanical gimmicks. Dragon Armor Shiwan Khan, Dr. Makino, and Lamont Cranston don't have physical gimmicks on their figures. Dr. Makino's claw has his gimmick. Dragon Armor Shiwan Khan has his armor. Lamont Cranston can transform into the shadow much like Kenner's Clark Kent. I actually prefer these because they have less of a chance of breaking. The basic Shiwan Khan does his rapid strike chop. And he has the added Furba movement and Cobra! Cobra! staff that moves its jaw. The Mongol warrior does a power slice. This power slice looks more like He-Man's power punch and he has real shooting arrows. The shadows have leg squeezing gimmicks like lightning draw, rapid strike chop, Dracula cape move, and aim, laugh, and light up eyes. I do absolutely love the ambush shadows gimmick. It's simple and it looks great. When it comes to Lamont Cranston, you gotta watch out for his nose. It'll scrape against his chest and start to flatten out. Besides, let's compare him to another Alec Baldwin figure from Kenner. The 1989 Adam Maitland. 
I think Lamont wins in this sculpt battle. The deluxe bulletproof shadow is just amusing. <laughs> ah, I love you, little shadow. <laughs> The line came with four vehicles. All of the vehicles have some sort of projectile. If the night mist cycle does a wheelie, it'll launch its secret ground missile. The figure lays on the bike, but the cape has to be removed since it'll drag. The Mirage SX100 may look like a fancy car for Lamont Cranston, but when the back cover slides forward, and the rear rockets are exposed, it becomes a supercar. The hood ornament can also fire. The Thunder Cab is the largest vehicle on the line. It can hold two figures, with the figure in the rear letting his feet hang out. It transforms into some kind of a battle taxi with loads of guns, the front cannon can shoot a missile, And I don't know about you, but the front of the vehicle reminds me of an old boat with the wood on the hood. The taxi also has these side parts that come out so you can trip other figures. Then there's the serpent bike. It looks cool. I like that it has a detachable sidecar, two extra swords for the bike or the figures, and the launching battering ram on the front of the sidecar is really well sculpted. I should warn you that the front shielding on the bike has gold plastic syndrome. There is one more piece to this puzzle that is commonly missing the mail away shadow holographic ring. The way to get this ring was to send three proofs of purchases from the shadow figures. The ring is in a silver plastic with red kanji on the side. The face of the ring has a hologram with the shadow logo and a brick wall. I've seen the ring for sale about three times in the past few months, only to be outbid again and again. I'm not popping at over $80 for a gumball machine quality ring. It's a sweet line that is more useful being displayed than to be played with. The Shadow is now 90 years old. He's the prototype for the super popular and heavily overused Batman. But unlike Batman, the Shadow doesn't get the respect that he truly deserves. Who knows if the Shadow will ever come back to light? Only the Shadow knows. <laughs>